the tips that I'm about to share with you provide pointers on writing well and doing it quickly. Make the action clear and specific. Tell your reader exactly what you want them to do or what you yourself expect to do based on the message that you've just written. A vague jumble of details can be interpreted in any number of ways. If you don't believe it, stand outside a conference room door and listen to people walking out of a meeting. They often draw any number of conclusions after hearing the same presentation after sitting through the same discussion. Ditto after reading a document. Imagine your reader asking, so what do you want me to do? Make it clear. Put the doers in your writing. That is, you want to avoid passive verbs in sentences like this one. The plan should be reviewed before implementation. Should be reviewed? Who's going to review it? Without the doer, key information is missing. I don't know about your house, but if you say the garage will be cleaned out tomorrow, who's going to do that? At my house, it's me. Another example you'll find in cryptic emails and texting. Give her further information on the arrangements discussed. When your readers may be confused about who did the giving and who did the discussing. Another tip. Avoid cliché closings. Those closings that frequently say, if you have any further questions, Please do not hesitate to call. Those that are stuck on the end of emails or letters sound like second graders. See you later, alligator. They're friendly, of course, but oh, they're so worn out. Tailor your closings to fit the end of the communication. Specifically, make it personal. After all, that's the purpose of those stay in touch emails, those stay in touch letters. Build a personal relationship. Why would you want to sound like you're rubber stamping that document, that email, that text? Writing skills have never been more important and more visible. In today's marketplace with social media, you, your writing skills have to stand out. If you decide yours are too bland to set you apart, spice them up to generate a little sizzle.